For more videos, visit ForTheSakeOfEducation.com Alright guys, this is this problem where they want you to replace the loading shown acting in this plate by an equivalent single resultant force and find the x and y coordinates where this would act. So on this plate, you only got forces going up or down. You don't got any other sort of forces. So the sum of the forces are equal to 100 going up, 500 going down, which is negative, and 400 going down, which is also negative. So the resultant force is negative 800. Now you know that the moment created about the x-axis is equal to I'm basically talking about the moment creating about this line which will make the plate turn either this way or that way but this one seems to be true because this 100 pound force is not creating any moments since it's right on top of the line and these two are creating are turning it clockwise and it's 500 times 4 because this distance is 4 plus 400 times 4 also because it's the same distance from the x which comes out to be 3600 the moment that creates about the x going clockwise now we're going to do the same thing but for the moment created out the y which is this line right here and the only ones creating a moment are this 100 pound force going up and this 500 going down so it's 100 times 3 he tries to turn it this way so let's call this one negative since it's turning it clockwise plus 500 times 4 so this comes out to be 1700 turning it this way so to find the coordinate where this resultant force of 800 will be acting 800 going down on the c-axis the moments in the x is equal to the resultant force times the y coordinate because the moment that you're creating in the x would give you the measurement from the x to the y where it will be acting so this is 3600 is equal to 800 times y and y is equal to 4.5 meters now Now the same thing goes for the y. The moment in the y is equal to the resultant force times its coordinate in the x because to create a moment in the y you gotta find the distance where we'll be acting in the x. So the moment in the y is equal to 1700 is equal to 800 times x. So x is equal to 2.125 meters. So this is the distance, the coordinate where this resultant force of negative 800 going down will be acting on this plate at 2.125 meters in the x and 4.5 meters in the y. Final answer. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.